Right, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Bob from Greybeard Models, and uh, I was I, I was watching a video the other day on Greg's models. I'll put a link below uh, where he built the the Ford tri motor kit by Airfix, and it just so happens I thought, oh yeah, I've always wanted to build one of those, so I went on to eBay and. Uh, found this little puppy um it was a bargain price for, I, I don't know about 20 quid i think not even that no 18 quid um so i thought i'll buy this one um because it's the old molding this is this i think is probably the first or second year i think this is the first with this this on and I think it was probably one of the first builds but first mold so I've got that little bit of cardboard there from the box got nice airfix instructions and I'll move this all out and we'll have a have a good look at it it was quite well packed the person I bought it from did a nice job of packing this and, and shipping it and I really like that if somebody takes care when they, they're packing one of these kits to sell and send in the post because uh, you know if you, I've had stuff come in the post that looks like it's you know just done a, a few hundred miles under a truck but uh, this is in quite good nick the instructions typical instructions for the time a little bit of uh, sun bleach there which you would expect at this age um, and this is like a simple colour scheme with the decals that come in the set well the decals are probably not going to be used there's a, there's a well they're not going to be used anyway i can tell you that now um they're yeah totally totally sun bleached um there's a bit of a crack in the decal there might be able to rescue it but I thought no can't find that so I managed to find this set uh, micro scale decals um, Ford Trimotor uh, a, a full set of decals never used this company's decals before um, looks like it was two two dollars fifty looks like the price there um, yeah two dollars fifty that wasn't the price I paid. I think I, fat, I paid ten pounds, I think, for these. But uh, yeah, interesting. So I thought, right, grab the decals. Job's done. Let's have a look at the parts. So I don't think the, this sort of bag. It's quite possible it's the original bagging, but I don't think so. Um, mainly because this is sort of held together with sellotape um, and this bag I don't know again put together with sellotape so there's a high probability that there might be some bits missing but I've gone through it and I think they're pretty much all there they've just they've just because of the way these were made um, you know, it's, the parts have come off the, off the trees, but we should be able to sort that out. Um, one of these little old uh, return complaint slips from, from Airfix, which is quite cute. Uh, Haldane Place in London, SW18. Uh, I used to live in SW17, so, you know, it was almost like Airfix with a local, local, um, company and the airfix magazine only a monthly journal devoted entirely to the hobby of plastic construction kits one and sixpence per copy that's about seven p nowadays crazy anyway um yeah so the parts look okay um like i said they're, they're all sealed up in the bags i, d I don't really want to take them all out because that's when i think i probably will lose them but they looked in fairly good nick it's just oh well look there's the answer to your prayers isn't it look bag split oh well nice job there bob right i didn't even notice that before 
I wonder if that one's done the same. No, that one seems to be okay, but this one's split. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Well, I have to find a, a zip ziplock bag for that. So there's one propeller and a couple of hubs. Various little bits and pieces there. Obviously, these are the old old, old type of tree. That's the clear. Which, actually, the clear doesn't look too bad. A um, few sort of distortion marks but you know you sort of half expect that um, in the cockpit glass not bad it might a little bit of a little bit of work and it should be okay um, some more parts obviously there's a lot of loose stuff here um, but generally speaking um, given its age there's very little flash which I suppose really you'd expect because this is like from way back in the day and this would have been molded back then when the tool was was relatively new really nice molding there surprised FX haven't done this as one of their vintage jobs there's a lot, a lot of loose parts in there really neat little pilot he's, he's actually quite well molded apart from the fact he's got both his hands on his knees this is the co-pilot I presume and he's exactly the same um, and yeah there's well, quite a few loose seats and stuff a couple more propellers wheel there bits of undercarriage that sort of thing but generally speaking it, it's it's actually in quite good nick in terms of the moulding I might as well open this bag seeing as, seeing as the other bag is split I might as well open this and have a look here um, to be fair I think the whole thing's complete I don't think there's any parts missing and if they are I've got the the main parts of the wings and they're quite quite nice it's going to take a little bit of dressing and I don't know how well this fits together but um, yeah <laughs> so no more kits being bought this year but I, except for this one so I think the next thing for me to do is is to sort of carefully go through every single part and tick them off the parts off the instructions just to make sure that I've pretty much got everything that's major that's required so one of the first things I did was rebag everything into a big ziplock bag um, as the other plastic bags were splitting so I did that done that well done that did that done that whatever um, and then I've gone on to the instructions and gone through all of the parts and you might be able to see the little ticks there literally gone through all of the parts and ticked them off on the instructions so that uh, I'm pretty confident that all the parts are there so I'm quite pleased with that um, so the next stage is probably um, to identify all the internal parts get them put together where possible and uh, get some get some paint on them um, and decide what sort of colors we're going to do and that sort of thing so I'll get on with that um, so that'll be the first part is basically finding all the seats get those onto a, a strip get those painted and then uh, <coughs> move on from there right so I've got some of the parts primed um, and then mainly to get the internal details done so I've done the insides of the fuselage in black and then I'll pick out an area that's going to be silver I've noticed that most of the internals that I've seen um, seem to have been basically the aluminium colour um, and I've done primer stuff on, on the engine parts and other bits and pieces and, and all of that so and also on the uh, 
also on the pilots so we get the pilots painted um, but anyway that's where we are for the moment I hope you uh, stuck with it and enjoyed it um, and I'll see you on the next video so bye for now